So we're uh, we're here to uh, take uh, airborne uh, geophysical survey, mainly magnetic and uh, gravity surveys, in order to uh, better understand the geology at the surface and also the geology at depth. So the, the magnetic data and the gravity data, it'll allow us to look for rock types that are uh, basically the same over a large area. Um, we'd also look for different locations where there might be potentially faults or fractures, and then those would be certain features that we'd want to stay away from. So in the end, we're kind of looking for a large block of rock that is free of faults and fractures. So we have what we call blocks, and in the blocks there are lines that have 100 meter line spacing. Uh, the control lines, those lines flying north-south and the control lines flying east-west have 500 meter line spacing. Uh, we're trying to be uh, sensitive to the people on the ground so we're not going to fly over an area repeatedly. We'll try to go 10 kilometers, 3 kilometers away from our return line, but we'll go downwind and then upwind and then kind of do a racetrack pattern. Simplify it like a Zamboni on the ice, you know, kind of catching everything. Uh, but people would see an airplane flying about 300 feet off the ground, higher over the urban areas. So the, the magnetometer that's here equipped on the aircraft, uh, it's very sensitive to uh, the different mineral types that are in the rock. Um, some of those mineral types become magnetized by the Earth's magnetic field. And then as you're flying over, you'll get a different response from, from the magnetometer. And, and each different rock type has a different response. Um, and then you can start to put all that information together and form this nice map, uh, which will show the different locations of the different rock types in the area that's being surveyed. The data that we are collecting uh, will be used by uh, experts and specialists uh, in the area. They will analyze it and they will uh, produce uh, new maps of the geology and new maps of uh, the distribution of uh, faults uh, and fractures, if uh, any uh, are present. And uh, we will use that, uh, that information to assess whether it is possible to find uh, small areas that are potentially suitable for hosting uh, a repository. If we find uh, areas that are potentially suitable, uh, the next step will involve uh, geological mapping or walking the land. Because uh, we want to verify in the field that what we understand from the surveys is accurate. Uh, so we will be doing a geological uh, mapping and that will involve people walking uh, the land, uh, taking notes, looking at uh, the rock types, looking at uh, uh, superficial uh, fractures but it is important to note that all what we are doing here we are doing it with the, in collaboration with the communities so we are planning the activities with the communities uh, we will share the results with the communities and any uh, potential site that is identified for drilling uh, will be chosen with the, the involvement of uh, the communities.